I had a customer ask me this question yesterday saying, hey, we use Zoom's AI companion for our meeting summaries and we can automatically put that into a Zoom doc, but we're a Google shop and we would like to automatically put Zoom's AI companion meeting summaries into a Google doc without having to copy and paste. Is there any way to do that? And I thought for a second and I said, yeah, there is. And it's called workflows. And let's walk through how to do that next. So here's my Zoom client. And if you look at the top navigation bar, you're gonna see a thing called workflows. Click on it. Now, all your workflows that you've created are gonna be stored here. So let's create a new workflow that takes the Zoom AI companion meeting summary and places it into a Zoom doc, as well as a Google doc simultaneously. I'll show you how to do it. On the top are just some basic templates that you can use from scratch. That way you don't have to create your own workflow, but you can totally do that if you want to. So there's already one that says create a Zoom doc from a meeting summary. Let's click on that. So you can see that there's two tasks. One is when a meeting summary is available, all meetings that are hosted by me, we're gonna create a Zoom document with the meeting topic and the meeting summary. But now we wanna add an additional item because we need that Google doc to be created. So just hit add an item from the menu. On the left side, you're gonna see the menu where we can have several apps that are already configured and integrated with the Zoom workflow. One of them is Google Drive. Click on that. So the action item we wanna do is create a Google Drive file. So let's click on that and it adds that task to the workflow. So now we wanna configure this workflow step. So just click on it. So now you're gonna see a window pop up on the right side saying, hey, what steps do we wanna follow? For the first one, we wanna create a brand new Google Doc. So just drop that down, hit Google Docs. What's the name of the file? So we want to be able to edit the name of the file. So we'll go to the edit button over here and we want the meeting topic, the meeting title when we created that Zoom meeting, we want that to be actually the, the file name. So let's create meeting topic. So anytime the meeting topic is, is created, it's going to throw that right into the Google Doc. And what's the content of this doc? Well, we probably want the meeting summary as the content of this doc. So let's insert a new variable. The variable is meeting summary. So now we have a new Google Doc created from a new meeting topic with a meeting summary, all contained within that doc. Just click save. So now you can see this workflow has three steps. We wanna trigger this with a new meeting created by me as a host. Second, we wanna create a Zoom Doc associated with that meeting. And third, we wanna create a Google Doc associated with that meeting. That looks good to me, so just click save draft. So let's name our workflow. We're gonna say create a Google Doc from meeting summary. Hit confirm. And now you can see the publish up there in the top right hand corner. Hit publish this new workflow. So now you can see this published workflow is ready to rock and roll. So now let's hold a meeting. So now I'm in a fake meeting. Actually, I just pulled this off of YouTube and it's a 43 minute meeting that GitLab actually publishes on their YouTube channel. So I'm gonna actually share this meeting audio inside of my Zoom client and AI Companion is going to take notes through the entire meeting. And then once the meeting's over, it's gonna go through that workflow that we just created to create a Zoom doc as well as a Google doc. So let's go ahead and fast forward through it and see what happens. Okay, the meeting is over and now Zoom AI Companion has published my doc three different ways. One, it's emailed me all the meeting notes. You can see them right here. Here's a quick recap. Here's next steps that are tied to Zoom task. And here's the summary of the entire meeting. That's created an email that I can share with everybody in email. And now you can see the second part of our workflow is created, right? It's created a Zoom doc. I'm in the docs tab. I've created a brand new doc that has Patrick Kelly's Zoom meeting in it. And it has the same thing that's in the email, right? The quick recap, all the next steps and the summary. That's the second part because we had an email. Now we got a Zoom doc. Now we need to see if it has a Google doc. So let's go to Google Drive and see what had happened. So now we're in Google Drive and you can see right here, there's a new file that's been created titled the exact same thing as we requested. I wanted the meeting topic to be the title of the file. Let's open it up and see what if I did it right. So you can see right here, it says Patrick Kelly Zoom meeting. It's the exact topic we just had in our fake meeting. Again, it has all of the quick recaps. It has all the next steps. It has all the summary, exactly like we had in email, exactly like we had in Zoom Docs, and now exactly like we have in Google Docs. So with that one simple workflow, we've actually answered the customer's questions because their real goal was we wanna have all of our meetings into one central location. You could have it in Zoom Docs or you can have it in Google Docs with a simple use of the Zoom workflow. So I hope that was a helpful introduction to the power of Zoom workflows inside of your Zoom client. I'm Patrick Kelly, the Tattooed Nerd.